homogeneous linear partial differential equation of the second and uh, higher order with constant coefficients. So, to find the complementary function of f of b comma d dash of z equal to r of x comma y, suppose we have to solve the function of b comma d dash of z equal to 0, the auxiliary equation is got by replacing by d by m and d dash by 1. And this is the procedure. Case number 1. If the roots are different, the complementary function is cf equal to i1 of i y plus m on x and phi 2 of y plus m 2 x. Case number 2, if the roots are equal, suppose m 1 equal to m 2 equal to m means complementary function phi 1 of y plus m x and x into phi 2 of y plus m x. Next, we have to solve the 7 problems. First sum, solve d minus d dash whole cube z equal to 0. Uh, let us take d equal to m and d dash equal to 1. So the axillary equation is, uh, so in the place of d is m, d dash is 1. So m minus 1 whole cube equal to 0. So m minus 1 written in 3 times. So m equal to 1, 1, 1. So all the roots are repeated and same. So the complementary function is z equal to pi 1 of y plus x and x into pi 2 of y plus x and x square into pi 3 of y plus x. So, uh, this m is repeat 3 times. So, the uh, final answer. Second sum. Solve d power 4 minus d dash power 4 of z equal to 0. So, let d equal to m and d dash equal to 1. So, the auxiliary equation is m power 4 minus 1 power 4 equal to 0. So, the Algebraic formula a power 4 minus b power 4 is a square plus b square into a square minus b square. So m square plus 1 square into m square minus 1 square equal to 0. So m square plus 1 into m square minus 1 equal to 0. So first we have to take m square plus 1 equal to 0. m square equal to minus 1. m equal to plus or minus root minus 1. This can be written as plus or minus i. So, m square minus 1 equal to 0, so m square equal to 1, m equal to plus or minus 1, that is m equal to plus or minus 1 and the plus or minus i. So, the four roots are there. So, two roots are, uh, uh, all the roots are different. So, the roots are different. So, we have to write the uh, complementary function. z equal to pi 1 of y plus x and pi 2 of y minus x and pi 3 of y plus i x and pi 4 of y minus i x. Sum number 3. Solve t cube minus 3 d d dash square plus 2 d dash cube of z equal to 0. A d equal to m and d dash equal to 1. So m square minus axillary equation is m, square, m cube minus 3 m plus 2 equal to 0. So the leading power is 3. So we have to apply the synthetic division method m cube, square is missing, so 0 m square minus 3 m plus 2 equal to 0. By synthetic division, we have to take the coefficients of m, 1, 0, minus 3, 2. So, we have to try, uh, applying by trial, 1, 0, 1, so 1 into 1, 1. So, adding these two results, 1, 1 into 1, 1. So, minus 3 plus 1, minus 2. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. The matter is 0. So, the differential equation is m square by m square plus m minus 2 equal to 0. So, factorization m plus 2 into m minus 1 equal to 0. So, m equal to minus 2 comma 1. So, the roots are m equal to 1, 1, minus 2. So, two roots are repeated. So, uh, roots are real and same. So, the complementary function is z equal to pi 1 of y plus x and x into pi 2 of y plus x. And the third one is uh, distinct. So, pi 3 equal to y minus 2x. Hence the problem. Fourth sum. Solve d square minus pi d d dash plus 60 dash square of z equal to 0. Let us take d equal to m, d dash equal to 1. m square minus 5 m plus 6 equal to 0. m minus 2 into m minus 3 equal to 0. m equal to 2 comma 3. These two roots are different. So, the complementary function is 
is it equal to pi 1 of y plus 2x and pi 2 of y plus dx. Put the sum, solve d cube minus 2 d square d dash of z equal to 0. At the stake d equal to m, d dash equal to 1. Saxler equation is m cube minus 2m square equal to 0. So m square is taken as a common for both results. So m square into m minus 2 equal to 0. So m square is 0 means 2 times 0, 0 and m equal to 2. So 3 roots are there. Uh, so 0 is repeat 2 times. So z equal to pi 1 of y plus 0x and x into pi 2 of y plus 0x and pi 3 is different. So y plus 2x. Second one is 0. So pi z equal to pi 1 of y plus x, x into pi 2 of y and uh, plus pi 3 into y plus 2x. And this is the complementary function. Sixth sum. Solve d square minus 3d d dash plus 2d dash square of z equal to 0. Let d equal to m, d dash equal to 1. The axillary equation is m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. The factor is value m minus 1 into m minus 2 equal to 0, m equal to 1 comma 2. The roots are uh, different. So C of equal to z, in, z equal to pi 1 of y plus x and pi 2 of y plus 2x. Hence the power. Seventh sum. Solve 4 into dou square z by dou x square minus 12 into dou square z by dou x dou y plus 9 into dou square z by dou y square equal to 0. So the conversion is dou square by dou x square is d square. Dou square by dou x dou y is d d dash. And um, dou square by dou y square is d dash square. So it can be written as 4 d square minus 12 d d dash plus 9 d dash square equal to 0. Let us take d equal to m and d dash equal to 1. 4 m square minus 12 m plus 9 equal to 0. The factorization value is 2 m minus 3 whole square equal to 0. 2 m minus 3 into 2 m minus 3 equal to 0. So 2 m minus 3 equal to 0 means m equal to 3 by 2. So again 2 m minus 3 equal to 0, m equal to 3 by 2. These two uh, roots are uh, repeat. So the complementary function is z equal to pi 1 of y plus, y plus 3 by 2 x plus x into pi 2 of y plus 3 by 2 x. Hence the problem.